So what were you saying, Joe? We had the best uh, tour of the... Uh, we saw three blocks. <laughs> three <laughs> blocks wrecked your vehicle. Yeah. This is what happens when you travel on foot. When we, well, you get tired and then thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> when, Walk a block and need to drink like a barrel of beer. Or when you're, you know, when you're alcoholics. <laughs> yeah, we, we probably saw a good... I'm sure it was the nicest three blocks of Reykjavik. Right, the most touristy five blocks of Reykjavik yeah. that anyone could ever see. It was beautiful. <laughs> we in Reykjavik now. We're gonna head over to the tourist center and uh, see what things there are to do in the city. The funny thing is it's been warm all week and now we're on the coast. It's a, it's a little bit chilly today. I guess, it, what did it say, 14 degrees Celsius? 13? It looks pretty cool. The drive in, lots of sights to see and we're right at the, right around the port here so maybe there'll be some boats around and stuff like that. We took a quick look around the tour center at all the different things we were to do in the city, and then we stumbled across this little coffee house where we enjoyed some tasty coffee and a quick bite to eat before we headed out for the day. One thing that stuck out to me was just how clean the city was. Uh, while there are many people out and about and outdoor seating for many restaurants, never saw trash anywhere and it was just a beautiful clean city walking around looking at the vendors all the different sites to see the stores as we made our way down to the port we went through this row of vendors and met this super nice icelandic woman that was selling jewelry made of volcanic rock and we had a lovely conversation with her awesome i love using the icelandic stones because they're um they're a bit different yeah, no, it's very cool. Like this here. This here. These are called bakkaludur. Uh huh. Two means fertility. I think you need a little fertility in your life. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I already have two daughters. No, don't you don't have that. that. <laughs> I don't need any fertility. <laughs> so, what's your favorite part about living in Iceland, if you don't mind me asking on, on video? Favorite thing is, is the countryside. Yeah. When you go out, out in the mountains, you are totally alone. Yeah. No people around, just you and nature. Yeah. And that's the best thing because I grew up in the country okay. on a farm. And uh, the best thing was wandering around up in the mountain or up in the hills. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think it's three, pretty four years, five yeah. years old. The MS Berlin from FDI Cruises was in port and apparently this ship holds about 430 people and does cruises from Europe I'm guessing. I don't know, I love cruising. Maybe FTI Cruises in, is in my future. Fly back to Iceland and uh, hop on a cruise to Berlin. Tell Cor your dad next spring. <laughs> next spring, dad. Going to Berlin. We're going to Berlin. And then we're gonna take a cruise to Iceland. It's gonna be awesome. Pretty neat. From the port, we wandered aimlessly down a side road and ultimately came across the Heavy Stones Fear No Weather mural, which was created for a Wall Poetry 2016 event by street artists Onur and West 21 in collaboration with Of Monsters and Men. We continued down that same road, and I'd like to think that fate brought us to Christ the King Cathedral, where we admired its beauty from the outside and looked at all the sights on the inside, as well as lit a candle for my mom, who recently passed away last year.
cathedral, we wandered back towards the center of the city, past a row of embassies. We passed the Russian embassy, and uh, we saw a few others. And ultimately, we ended up in the 101 Reykjavik area, which uh, 101 is the postal code for the city, and 101 Reykjavik is right downtown where they're doing a lot of construction. They're putting up hotels everywhere, and it just seems like the place to be. A lot of people around and lots of things to do. In the same area is Reykjavik Cathedral, where we noticed a large police presence. Uh, we wonder what the deal was with that, and we talked to a few of the police officers, and apparently the president of Germany was visiting. We continued our stroll along and noticed a lot of skateboarders heading towards this one area of the city, which leads us to Ingleful Square, where there's a skateboarding park, there's a lot of eateries and shops, uh, there was live music, and it was a great place to have lunch. Uh, we ate here at this restaurant that translates to the Sweet Pig, uh, where we had a great meal, and this is where a lot of the drinking began. Of course, uh, I cannot read any of this shit. <laughs> so, what's your impression of Reykjavik? He's pretty cool. It's a nice little little city. We're, we're just in a touristy area, and it's got some nice little pubs. Of course, we went, I went and got a hot dog. We went to the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but in English, it's the best hot dog in town is what it's called. It translates <laughs> nice. to it. Went there, because we had to do that thing. I got one with everything. It was a pretty good deal, pretty tasty. And then we went and got a beer. We checked out a bunch of souvenir shops. We ended up at a place that translates to the Sweet Pig. I uh, enjoyed a couple Einstock IPAs, and I got the Flakaka, which I guess translates, she said, to flat cake, which it's basically a flatbread with uh, Arctic char on it and a dill sauce. It's pretty delicious. What do you think, Dr. Joe? How do you like Iceland? I like it very much. I need a few more days. Two yeah, weeks. We, we two weeks. For two weeks. Yeah. We were just saying that uh, if we could stay here a month, that would be fantastic, and then travel to Europe and somehow make that work. Chris lives a life of leisure in his mind. Well, in my mind, yeah, life of leisure. <laughs> of course, I have a family at home, two two youngins, and a wife. Yeah, uh, Doctor Joe says that uh, boarding school is a very good option. <laughs> And he said that he wasn't sure what I should do with my wife. <laughs> so. Just a joke. But then I did say we'll bring her. Yeah, you did. We'll bring her. He said he said we will eventually bring my wife. Yeah, we. <laughs> In like a kennel? A kennel. Right. Sorry, honey. Yeah, Joe wants to board you when we uh, when we take you on vacation, like a doggy. But he's gonna give you a chance first. And then we'll see how you act. If you ask too many questions, then we're going to board you. Even in Iceland, we couldn't escape the sweet sounds of Take Me Home Country Roads. So in the end, while we may not have visited all the must-see tourist destinations of this beautiful city, as Dr. Joe stated in the beginning of this video, I'm sure it was the nicest three blocks of Reykjavik. Indeed it was. Oh, and we did visit our fair share of bars. There's an English pub here. The Vimbudi.
It was only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we had the midnight sun, so I'll let drunk Chris fill you in on what's in store for next week. We got a half an hour left with our parking here, so I think what we're going to do is hop in the car after an yet another beer and, and um, head back towards the house. And along the way, there's kind of like a free hot spring that my brother's been talking about, and we're going to go check that out. So I'll check in with you then. Join us next week where we climb up a mountain and head into the Reykja Delor Valley where we wait in Geothermal River. Hope you enjoy the video guys. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel hitting that notification bell to be alerted when we publish new content.